Let's bring in Ivan Feinseth to discuss. He's chief investment officer at Tigris Financial Partners. Do, how big of a deal is this for the longer term trajectory for Rivian? Long term, I don't think it's that big a deal. And if you want to say uh, every opportunity, every problem is an opportunity, this gives Rivian the opportunity to demonstrate their cus their customer service and their ability to handle mechanical issues that do happen. And so far, this is the first reported significant issue since the car has been in production and they have produced and sold almost 14,000 cars. So is, you, th you see this as a normal problem, recalling all of their vehicles that they sold? Well, we have seen significantly larger recalls from almost every other automaker. And uh, this, luckily, is not really a major mechanical issue. We haven't seen any accidents or heard about any major issues. And they say they can get this repaired across the delivered fleet within 30 days. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't help the brand and the credibility issue. So you're a buyer of the stock on this weakness Absolutely. today. Absolutely. I mean, this is a long-term play. First, I believe we are going to see more happen in the auto industry in the next three years than took place in the entire 120-year combined of the auto industry. We are going to see this major shift of introduction of electric vehicles and incredible technology. All of these automakers, including Rivian, are evolving mm -hmm. software companies. It's all about connectivity, about the ability to manage, maintain, and build the relationship with the customer through connectivity and constant upgrades of features in the car. So there's going to be a big shift as you know, GM has over 30 electric vehicles coming to market by 2025. This is all going to drive increased traffic into the showroom as people, as consumers, check out the EVs. And we're going to see a tremendous upgrade cycle because still the average car on the road in the U.S. is close to 12 years old. So we still have a potential. But everybody's upgrade doing cycle. it now. Everybody's doing it now. Rivian, Rivian is just one of the many players. Now well, there's competition. And a setback like this does seem... Pretty notable. Well, I guess I guess my my well, I'll let you respond, Ivan, but also tell me, does it impact the twenty twenty two deliveries at all? Um, it may. And they may or may not get to twenty five thousand for this year as projected. But I don't think that is important as getting the um you know, any issues fixed and getting close to that, I think, would be acceptable. But first of all, the more electric vehicles that are on the market, the more electric vehicles the industry will sell. The competition for electric vehicles is not electric vehicles, it's gas cars. And the sweet spot of the auto industry is trucks and pickup trucks. Truck Pickup trucks are the number one selling vehicle in the industry, and Rivian has a tremendous first mover advantage. I mean, Chevy has a EV Silverado mm -hmm. that's coming out that's incredible, but it's still not coming until late next year. Ford has the F-150 Lightning just starting to be available right, right now, but Rivian does have a first mover advantage. They have yep. about a, a 90,000 backlog for the um, RT and the, uh, the RT1 and the, S, uh, the uh, S1, and they also have uh, a 100,000 vehicle commitment for EV vans from Amazon. And I think that Amazon from the beginning has been a big seal of approval for the company. Agree with that. For sure, the bulls like that fact. Ivan, thank you. Ivan Feinseth from Tigris.